Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstration Program is a series of technology demonstration missions that has been conceived by the Indian Space Research Organization as a first step towards realizing a two-stage to orbit TSTO reusable launch vehicle. For this purpose, a winged reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator RLVTD has been configured. The RLVTD will act as a flying testbed to evaluate various technologies like powered cruise flight, hypersonic flight, and autonomous landing using air breathing propulsion. Application of these technologies would bring down the launch cost by a factor of 10. This project has no connection with the Avatar spaceplane concept by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. Topic: <laughs> Development In 2006 the Indian Space Research Organisation performed a series of ground tests to demonstrate stable supersonic combustion for nearly seven seconds with an inlet Mach number of 6. In March 2010, ISRO conducted the flight testing of its new sounding rocket, Advanced Technology Vehicle ATV weighing 3 tonnes at lift-off, a diameter of 0.56 metres 1 foot 10 in, and a length of approximately 10 metres 33 feet. It carried a passive scramjet engine combustor module as a testbed for demonstration of air breathing propulsion technology. In January 2012, ISRO announced that a scaled prototype, called Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator, RLVTD, was approved to be built and tested. The aerodynamics characterization on the RLVTD prototype was done by National Aerospace Laboratories in India. The RLVTD is in the last stages of construction by a Hyderabad-based private company called CIM Technologies. By May 2015, engineers at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center VSSC in Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station were installing thermal tiles on the outer surface of the RLVTD to protect it against the intense heat during atmospheric re-entry. This prototype weighs around 1.5 tons and flew to an altitude of 65 km mounted on top of an expendable solid booster HS9. On August 28, 2016, ISRO successfully tested its scramjet engine on second developmental flight of its advanced technology vehicle ATV DO2 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center for the 28th of August 2016. The scramjet engine will be integrated to the RLV at a later stage of development. Topic. Test flights A total of four RLVTD flights are planned by ISRO. HEX hypersonic flight experiment, completed on 23 May 2016. LEX landing experiment, TBA REX return flight experiment, TBA SPEX scramjet propulsion experiment, TBA Topic. Hypersonic flight experiment The hypersonic flight experiment, or HEX, was the first test flight in the RLVTD development program. It was launched from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center on 23 May 2016 at 7 a.m. local time on board a HS-9 solid rocket booster, after a successful lift that lasted 91.1 seconds to a height of about 56 km, the RLVTD separated from the HS-9 booster and further ascended to a height of about 65 km. The RLVTD then began its descent at about Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. The vehicle's navigation, guidance and control systems accurately steered the vehicle during this phase for a controlled descent down to the defined landing spot over the Bay of Bengal, at a distance of about 450 km 280 miles from Sriharikota, thereby fulfilling its mission objectives. The vehicle was tracked during its flight from ground stations at Sriharikota and a shipborne terminal. The total flight duration from launch to splashdown lasted about 770 seconds. The unit was not planned to be recovered. ISRO plans to construct an airstrip greater than 4 km miles long in Sriharikota Island in the near future. In this flight, critical technologies such as autonomous navigation, guidance and control, and reusable thermal protection system, have been validated. See also Avatar, an unrelated spaceplane concept by India's DRDO 
Hypersonic Flight Experiment Space Rider a planned robotic space plane by ESA